Okay, hopefully I can make this a quick modding tutorial on Bendy and the Dark Survival. So I wanted to change uh, the player character to whatever I wanted. And I haven't gotten that far yet, but I will show you how we can in-game do it. Now, in the editor, I can. And here I have Alice with Boris animations applied. I had to make her a little stouter. Uh, Boris is a little taller than her. Um, I could probably get around doing that differently. Um, what's this next one? This one's her idol. And we have a running sequence. Well, look, she's Boris. Well, I'm Boris Alice. Alice Boris. Uh, we got to get a dance, right? That's coming up here. That's walking. Oh, cowering sequence. <laughs> you ever see <laughs> her cower? Except she put her hands over her head. Oh, well. And this must be dance. All right, so let's see Alice do the boogie boogie. There we go. Alice doing the boogie, yeah. That's pretty cool and all. But we want to actually play the game with um, the character changed. So what we have to do with that for that is we have to use what is called a couple tools. Um, the UABE, the Asset Bundle Extractor, uh, will let us actually change the assets. But it doesn't really show them very easily. So using Asset Studio is nice to actually see what you're changing. And always make a copy, a backup copy of your um, directory. So mine is in, buh, 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 buh. I got so much stuff on this computer. I'll never find it. Okay, wait a minute. Boris Dark Survival. This is a backup of the entire game. And I've got some stuff already extracted. And then the data is going to be under the shared assets and stuff. So I'll show you how you pull those up um, from Asset Studio. That's always fun just to look at that. You load your file and point to that directory. And Shared Assets 3 is where Boris uh, model is. And I've already located where he is. So this is the hierarchy list. But you go to Asset List. And if you were to search for Boris and you looked for, there's the Boris texture, and which I've already changed to barrel. So don't look at that. So here's the actual Boris model, and this means nothing other than you could extract to the mesh as an OBJ and all that good stuff, but if we actually want to change his mesh to, let's say, a barrel, we will open this exact same, uh, and I made a copy of it here so I can easily do this, and you're going to look for his mesh. You can sort and you can search. That's one way to find it. I already know where it is. So there's mesh renders. You don't want those. You want the actual mesh. And I know it's by path ID 192. So if you just want to quickly do something, look for 192. Come on, come on, there you go. And this is Boris's model. So we're going to change Boris's model to a barrel. Well, first you want to get the barrel out of uh, the asset studio. I'm sorry, Asset uh, Bundle Extractor. So using Asset Bundle Extractor, not to get confused with the Asset Studio, you're going to get the barrel model. So the barrel model, if you look for barrel, is a prefab. Um, you can get one of these barrel models. We'll come back to that later. But let me see, what did I look up? The barrel was mesh barrel. What is mesh barrel? forgot what number it was. Let me see if I can find it using the search by name. Search by name, use asterisk barrel, asterisk. That should find it, right? That's the prefab. You don't want that. Hit F3, F3. Now, I guess these prefabs, these are game objects. I want mesh. Come on, where's mesh? Keep going all through the game objects. Pretty sure it was in here. There it is. Render barrel body. So here it is. And what you're going to do is once you find this, it's mesh number 219. So if you want to just grab that, you go to export raw. And then I already exported it as a DAT file. So find a place to export your DAT file. And then to bring it back in, you go to Boris, who is 192. Do, do, do. Go back to 192, 192, 192. There he is. And you're going to import raw. And then you're going to import that barrel. And it'll show a little asterisk there that says you changed it. 
So that's fine and dandy, but now the texture won't be right, so you have to find the texture. Now I looked this up for you. The barrel texture is PID30. So if we path ID to 30 here, which this is in reverse order, PID30, it's the, and it's funny, there's actually multiple PID30s, but there's, oh, that's because I already changed it. Yeah, that's what happened. So it would be this props texture, I think it's, okay, I'm getting confused. Well, anyway, what you would do for this one is, say this is Boris texture, you would go to plugins, edit, okay, and if you looked at Asset Studio, it, this exact same thing, you looked up um, Boris's texture, I already changed it to the barrel. That's why it's showing that. But what you would do is you'd say load, you would point to the PNG, which is not, yeah, I messed all this all up. So I started from the scratch and gotten rid of everything, but anyway, um, and then you would say okay. And then the main important, important thing to do is to save, and you're going to save it into the directory where it's running, and you'll overwrite the existing one, making sure that it's that. And then we go in here and run it. So make sure you run the right one. I kept running the one on my desktop, which was the actual game, and nothing was changing. So here we go. I'm going to run. Hopefully this works as a tutorial. And then we'll, we'll change it to something else next. If this all works, we'll make him a banjo. Now the only big issue is the positioning. Unless you extract the model and try to reorient the position, you're stuck with it getting placed on his hip and it goes the wrong direction. So there we are, we have a barrel. And Boris is a barrel, a barrel of laughs. You ever wanna see a dancing barrel? Let's get the barrel dance. Here we go, gotta pick a song. Say okay, here we go, dancing barrel. Turn up the volume a little bit. Probably can hear it fine, I don't know. Dancing barrel. What else could we do with a dancing barrel with a minor hat? I don't know. Barrel in the minor hat. Let's go a little faster here. Speed barrel! Ah! Um, I don't have a controller hooked up to this. Oh, well, he is. He goes backwards. That's what I know. He doesn't go backwards, never mind. I just felt like I was going backwards because I'm a barrel. So maybe I would change him into the mystery box. I thought that would be cool, but I can't. I haven't figured out which uh, cube is the mystery box. I have to find the mesh for the mystery box and apply texture. Or just grab any old cube and apply that texture to it, so we might be able to do that. I don't know, it may mess up with the thing. Okay, so that's that. All fun. Escape, get out of here. Takes so long to quit, back out. Let's change him to a banjo. See if I can do that without messing up. Okay. And let's go to here again, I'm going to start from scratch with the, well, not quite scratch, but let's start with asset of shared asset three. No, no, no. I didn't mean to save it. Okay, I already did that. All right, so I'm in here. I think this is, now let's close that just to make sure. File, open. I don't know which one I'm pointing at, so I want to point at the right one. I'm pretty sure I was pointing at the right one. Okay, so now we're back to here, and Boris is back to being Boris in here. So... We're going to change Boris's texture. We're going to import raw. Sorry, 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 cancel. That's for mesh. Plugins. I'm doing texture first, which confused me. Boris texture, we're going to change it to um, the, this, all the, the banjo prop is actually in a different directory. So, let's see if I can find that. Texture 2D, that was the, that one. Which one was it? For some reason, it's props texture, this one. So I'm going to do that and say OK. And say normal multi thread OK. It seems fine. Wait a couple seconds, it goes away. Then go to your Boris model, which we already found out was 192. So we'll go down to your 192, 192. And I already have an exported uh, banjo, but if you had to, you could find something else, some other mesh to export that you want to turn ben Boris into. So this Boris model, there's another Boris model, I don't know why there's two, but uh, this is the one that seems to definitely make an impact. And we're going to import the raw, 
and we're going to go up here to banjo. So here we go, banjo. So now Boris is a banjo. And we say save, go into this directory, save as shared assets three, save, overwrite, yes. Oh, why not? Cannot write, do I have it open somewhere else? Maybe it doesn't like that. Try that again. Save. Boris, Boris. Save. Yes. There. I guess Asset Studio has to be closed. You can't have them both pointing to the same thing. And then we run the game and we should be a banjo. So let's see if that worked. And then if I can figure out how to actually mod him into... Problem is, is the skin render uh, thing makes it difficult. And the all the animations have to be right and everything, so it's a lot more involved if you're actually going to change him into a animated character, which that would be the next step to try to do. There we are. We're a banjo, and we're a sideways banjo, but oh well. So let's get the banjo dance in here, and then we'll go get Bendy to uh, chase the banjo. All right, so we got a banjo, banjo dance. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, banjo. And yes, he clips because... That's how he does that. Yes, good. All right. I also did uh, the cutout as a test, and it kind of worked, but it was trailing behind you, and I didn't really like that, so I want to try to get his orientation correct, and then I'll maybe do a, an actual mod part two with him, because I think he'd be kind of cool to run around and have Bendy chase himself as a cardboard cutout. And so let's go around here. I need to get, need to get me my controller from the other house. The other house has the controller in it. Alright, let's go find Bendy here. I want Bendy to chase a banjo. Benji, Bendy, 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 Bendy. I want Bendy to chase a banjo. Let's get a whole bunch of things. We need some books. We need some books. Let's go find some books. Oh, there's no books over there. Bendy, Bendy, let's go fast. Use up all... Now, you can use Cheat Engine like SK Pac-Man did for uh, changing some things like Oh, and yes, I messed up Bendy. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, you saw his spine running after me. That was something else I was playing with. Because I want to make him Alice. And have Alice chase Boris, like I did in the editor, which is fine, but it's not actual gameplay. So, Alright, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this quick mod tutorial, and maybe I'll get a little more organized, and it'll be better next time. I don't even know what OBS, if it recorded anything, because I the Streamlabs OBS does not work on my computer right so that's it for now. Um, yeah, that's it for now. And she's slow. All right, that's it. Stop.